Economics studies how humans behave when their unlimited wants collide with their limited abilities. Limited abilities? I did not come here to be insulted. Economics isn't about money or stocks, though it does help us to understand those things. Economics is about human behavior. As long as you have just one human, you have an application for economics. Economics explains how a single, hungry, and tired person on a desert island chooses between fishing and sleeping. And when you have two or more humans, an economy emerges. The humans exchange the things they have for the things they want. At first, the islanders owned only one thing of value, what we call an asset. Their only asset was their labor. They applied labor to catching fish, and so turned their labor into food. That gave them two assets, labor and fish. But our limited labor produced very limited numbers of fish. That's where Abel's idea comes in. Of course. Abel provided the island's third asset, creativity. The islanders now own three things of value, labor, fish, creativity. Creativity? Big deal. You can't eat creativity. No, but you can use it to get something that you can eat. I know. Abel combined his labor and creativity and produced a net. The net was the island's fourth asset. Labor, fish, creativity, and now a net. The net is a new type of asset that we call capital. Capital is an asset that helps you to obtain other assets. Abel's creativity helped him obtain a net. Is his creativity capital? In a sense it is. It's what we call human capital. Abel's creativity is part of Abel, only he can use it. But Abel's net is different. Anyone can use Abel's net. The net is physical capital, or just capital for short. Abel went hungry for a day making that thing. If it hadn't worked, he'd have nothing but an empty stomach. That's what we call risk. It's what I call tragedy. People usually don't like to take risks, but they will if they judge that there's a potential payoff, like more fish, that's worth the risk. Our desires were still unlimited, but our abilities were less limited than they had been. Plus, catching fish with a net requires a lot less labor. Abel's net is physical capital. By itself, it can't catch fish, so it isn't like labor. And you can't eat it, so it isn't like fish. The net doesn't generate ideas, so it isn't like Abel's creativity. Every time someone decides to expend assets on creating capital rather than on consuming, it's a risk. The risk is that the capital won't be as useful as they'd hoped, and so they would have wasted their assets producing something that didn't benefit them. You won't see me taking risks like that, no sir. Risks are scary, and if they don't pay off, they can be extremely costly. But if they do pay off, you end up better off than you were before. Your abilities become a little less limited, and you get more of what you want. Risk is the price of improving your life.